Now that you've created your cryptocurrency on Ethereum, we're going to allow anyone in the world to buy it. If you haven't made your own cryptocurrency yet, make sure to check out my tutorial in the description. And you don't need any coding knowledge for this. I'm Matt, a software developer, and I talk about everything coding tech and productivity. My goal is to get you interested in tech, and if you have any questions or need any help, feel free to hop into my Discord. We're going to list your own token using Uniswap, which is a decentralized exchange on Ethereum. We're going to create your token's first liquidity pool, which will allow anyone to buy it. So hit that like button, subscribe, and let's hop right in. Now that you've created your token, we need to allow anyone in the world to be able to buy your token. This can be done by creating something called a liquidity pool on a decentralized exchange. Uniswap is the most popular one on Ethereum, so we're going to be using that. Uniswap usually looks like this, where you can swap one token for another. But we're going to do something a little different here. We're going to click pool, and then after pool, you're going to want to add slash v2. Uniswap v2 is a little bit easier for beginners to understand than Uniswap v3, so we'll be using that. Over here, you wanna click create a pair. The way to create the initial liquidity pool is you need to take an amount of one token and the amount of the token you created and add them together. For example, if I take an amount of ether to match with an amount of my coin, I've now created a liquidity pool with that. Now people can sell my coin for ether and now people can buy my coin with ether. Now, if this doesn't auto populate up here, what you can do in MetaMask is you can go up here and click view on ether scan. Now you wanna go back to that last contract you created. Up here, you wanna click this contract address and copy it. Now over in Uniswap, you can go back here, paste this and your coin should populate. I've already created a pool in the past with this token, so it's automatically gonna set a price. But if this is the first time you've ever set a pool, you can really put in any numbers in here, as long as you have that amount in your wallet. So let's say I wanna take, for example, 0.5 ether, and I wanna match that to this amount of my coin. That's gonna create the base price of this amount of my coin per one ether, and this amount of ether per my coin. And now I wanna go in here and click supply, and then confirm supply. You wanna approve in MetaMask. And then this is something called an LP token. I can redeem this token to get the amount that I I just put in of both the ETH and my coin back. There's something called impermanent loss, which we're not going to get into, but just know that if you redeem this, you might not get 100% back of what you put in. But we can add this to MetaMask. Now, before supplying, it might ask you to approve your token. You will have to click approve before you click supply. Now, the cool thing is we can go back to swap and we can choose my coin. And now you'll see it says price impact too high. That means we're trying to buy up too much of the supply. The way Uniswap works is that every extra token you buy is going to get more and more expensive until it becomes impossible to buy the total supply. So the way to get around this is you want to try smaller values. So let's try this. It allows us to swap, click swap, and then confirm. Now again, in MetaMask, we'll have to pay the gas fees. And then they have this nice shortcut if you don't have your token in MetaMask already. Now anyone can come into Uniswap and buy your token. And if you click up here, view on Etherscan, you can see that you just bought some of your token. If you go up here and click this, you can see all the tokens that are in your wallet. If you learned something today, make sure to click that like button and subscribe. And if you need help, hop into my free tech discord. I also answer all DMs on TikTok and Instagram. So follow over there and see you next time.